Hello, Danger Beach. I'm Frank Lacanto here in the Commission Chambers for the State of the City Report with Mayor Tamara James. And welcome to you, Mayor. Welcome, Frank, and thank you for stopping by. And I would also like to thank our Vice Mayor, Bill Harris, our Commissioner, Chicky Brandamarty, our Commissioner, Marco Salvino, and our Commissioner, Bobby H. Grace. Let's begin our conversation with an overview of the city's financial status. Well, last year, we reported that the city was in okay or good financial status. And now I am elated to tell you that we are more than good. We're booming with new developments. We have a totally different look. So we're very excited for all of the revenues and the things to come to our city. Let's talk now about the city's budget. Absolutely. The city is in great shape. This is our fourth consecutive year in increasing our values, and we are planning a lot of great things. Now we hear that Dania Beach is leading Broward County in its taxable value. Not only are we the first city in Broward County, we're number one in leading in taxable value, which is 20.6%, which kind of translates to $3.6 million. By the way, did the commission reach its goal of the fund balance reserves? Yes, Frank, we are at 25%, and we were also able to fund our hurricane reserve. Now, the commission, I understand, is looking ahead by funding studies for the future of Daniel Beach. What's being done? We are conducting a salary study that will ensure that our employees are being compensated at a correct rate. And also, we have um, contracted with someone to do a parks master plan and also a transportation mobility study. By the way, there's a new brand and a new logo for Daniel Beach. Let's talk about that, Mayor. Yes, I'm so excited about our new logo. Um, Redline Media Marketing Group did an amazing job coming up with our new logo, our new seal, and our new brand. Our slogan is See It, Live It, Love It. And in the logo, in the D shape, you will find a B. And the, per the pink in the logo represents um, the development. The yellow in the logo represents the sun. And the blue in the logo represents the beach because we are a coastal community. Well, Mayor, because Florida is in the climate of these type of storms, we had Hurricane Irma come by here. How bad was it for the city? And actually, this was the first major hurricane since 2005. Frank, this was a very concerning storm that came not only because of the size of the storm, but because of the path of the storm. It was going directly up um, Florida from the bottom to the top. And we did a lot of things to help prepare um, our residents, we created some um, sandbags that uh, our public works did a great job in assisting and we were here to the last time that we can be here to answer any questions in our ELC building. Well, I know uh, there were no fatalities, thank goodness. Damage debris was 70% of the new beach dunes. We lost 70% of our dunes, but our public works department has worked really, really hard post Hurricane Irma to be able to provide our beach goers with the sand dunes and everything that they had before the storm hit. It took us about a week to get back up and running, um, but we, as soon as we could, we had workers on the ground the next day, the day that the hurricane left, and was working tirelessly to ensure that our residents, you know, received all the services that they needed. I know you have a hurricane preparedness event each year. This year you had Brian Norcross here. It was an amazing event, and we look forward to having it every year, and I just hope that the residents continue to take heed to these type of events so that they can be properly prepared for when these natural disasters come. Now, Mayor, I understand that the parks and recreation is always going through new things. Tell us about that. I am very happy to report that our parks and recreation are constantly being upgraded. Um, we were able to start a gracefully aging senior program that takes place at C.W. Thomas Park twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 o'clock. So if you're listening, feel free to come out. We have new summer camp programs at P.J. Millie, which is sponsored by Memorial Healthcare, um, and they sponsor 50 kids for our program there. We also have our own um, summer camp program at Frost Park. We rededicated Chester Berg Park with some major improvements like the shade shelter, we also funded uh, lifeguards out on the beach north of the pier. And I am finally able to be really excited about our sports program. And we were, the commission funded an athletic director position. And our city is taking over all of our sports program. We are now the Dania Beach Dolphins. 
Now the airport challenges continue, Mayor, talk about that. The airport is a great economic engine here in Broward County, but it still poses some threats and some issues here to Dania Beach. And so the commission and our city staff are still addressing some issues concerning um, the airport expansion and also trying to address the concerns about Uber and them being in our neighborhoods. Now the city has completed quite a few capital improvement projects, Mayor, talk about that. One of our capital improvement projects has been our annual resurfacing project for our roads and we have completed four miles of road travel lanes and the lime softening of the water plant, we have completed some upgrades to that as well, um, including the filters and we changed from a gas chlorine treatment plant to a liquid chlorine plant. Our stormwater projects are ongoing on Southwest 26 Terrace. We made some major improvements to Taylor Lane, which is the home of the city's marine shipyards. We put in stormwater and swells, and we rebuilt the road, and we partnered with Director Marine Services to take the area's stormwater. Mayor, let's stay on the stormwater subject for another moment. The Southeast Stormwater Project Phase 2, what can you tell us about that? Yes, this project came in way over budget, so we had to redesign um, the project and reject the last bid, and now it's out to bid so we could meet our $6 million budget. Mayor, there's other street improvement projects going on within the city. We are happy that the state reopened Ravenswood Bridge, and Broward County came behind them and did a lot of beautifications down Ravenswood Road, so we're very happy for the progress that was made there. Okay, let's change direction a little bit, Mayor, and talk about a project that I like very much, the Oasis Neighborhood Improvements. Uh, this is for crime prevention, improving neighborhoods. You know, I always love the Oasis projects because they give you a sense of pride um, within your own home, and you know that you have some buy-in from the city to help you um, with these things like pavers, new sidewalks, and we also have decorative street signs and the ADA sidewalk access on uh, Oasis 13, as they call it, some changes there also. Absolutely. We have new sidewalks in that area and parking pavers, solar lights, and we also have decorative street signs in that area. Now, Mayor, there's also a neighborhood beautification project, and the motto is to plant, to paint, and to mulch. So I was very happy to be a part of this beautification program in which we partnered with Rebuilding America, which is a nonprofit group from Fort Lauderdale. So we went inside of the American Legion Post, Post 304 and 209, and we not only painted, but we did a lot of landscaping there with help of our sponsors, which is Home Depot, Chick-fil-A, and hundreds and hundreds of volunteers that flooded this area in Dania Beach to provide their services to not only these two Legion posts, but different houses around the community to give them a facelift. Well, Mayor, let's talk a little bit about community development now. Construction cranes and dump trucks are all over this city, wonderful to see and some major projects were actually completed this past year. Absolutely, we are transforming this city into a destination place, and we are in a developmental boom, as I like to call it. And we can start with the Morrison Hotel, which um, consists of 143 rooms on Federal Highway, and it's next door to City Hall. And we can also talk about the Walmart Neighborhood Market, which is a redevelopment of 40,000 square feet of retail space. And on the western part of the city, there is a new Wendy's. And lastly, we have a new family dollar store on Griffin Road. Now, Mayor, let's talk about the huge project going up here in the city called Dania Point. Oh, wow, Frank, this is the talk of the city, the talk of Broward County. This is a huge project that sits on 102 acres and roughly around a billion dollars. And phase one is slated to open this year and phase two is now in the permitting process. They will have a 300 room hotel, a thousand rooms in luxury residential units, a half a million square foot of class A office space, a million square foot of retail and restaurants, and public event space. Well, Dan, your point is the biggie, it certainly is on the map, Mayor. Are there other developments going on in the city right now? Absolutely. Currently we have about 100 residential units that are being built right now throughout the city and we're going to have more single family units being developed pretty soon. Now the city has established, Mayor, a special permit office, which I think is great. 
The commission and the city staff came up with the SPO building, which is the special permit office, and that directly services large-scale projects such as Daniel Point. And so we have our regular permit building, and now we have our SPO building. It's busy every single day because we have a lot of different developments coming. Public safety is a vital component of every community. Let's talk about the BSO right now, the Broward Sheriff's Office. Our budget has allowed us to fund a lot of different positions within BSO with our fire and our police program. Not only have we hired four additional fire rescue personnel, we also took delivery of a new rescue vehicle. Mayor Danger Beach has terrific events all through the year. Talk about a few of them. The first event that we have starting in January is our Martin Luther King celebration, and we have a parade, and we also have a day out in the park. The second event I want to talk about is the holiday tree lighting, which we turned the fountain into a ginormous Christmas tree and is very well attended. And annually we have our antique motorcycle show and it draws a huge crowd of thousands of people that come from various counties and communities here to our very own parks here at Dangy Beach. And lastly, our arts and seafood celebration, which is always held here annually as well. There are huge crowds here, and we partner with the casino and other businesses that sponsor this great event. Well, thank you very much, Mayor James, for the State of the City Report, Daniel Beach 2018. Thank you, Frank. It's always an honor. And that's our program. Until the next time, this is Frank Lecanto. Have a great day.